In this video, we are going to fix the 1930XC1 error in Windows Update. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first solution that you can do is that you need to run the troubleshooter for Windows Update. How we can do that here at the start, navigate here, make a right click, scroll up and click on the settings. You can also press Windows key and E key together. In that way, you'd be able to bring up the settings with window. Here with the settings, you need to navigate to the left pane, find for an option which is the system next to home, click on that one. Once you have opened the system section, you need to scroll down here in the list, find for troubleshoot. And afterwards, you can see other troubleshooters, click on it. And under the most frequent, you can see Windows Update, click on one corresponding to it. So wait until this procedure would be finished, it will take 2-3 to three minutes. And once you have succeeded on the troubleshooting for Windows Update, try to update your computer again and check if it's working. However, if not, then you need to proceed to the next solution and that is to do SFC scan as well as the DISM. How we can do that at the search box, navigate here, please type for CMD. Once you have typed that, you need to wait until you can open a command prompt system under the best much and after that you need to wait until you can see this option called run as administrator now click on it and if your user account control would ask you to say yes click on yes so that you can continue on running this window so i want you to copy the two commands that i have provided at the youtube description the first is the sfc space forward slash scan now Control c to copy and then make a right click here to paste that so this will do system scanning and this process will take some time. It will automatically find corrupted files and might as well automatically fix it. And this process will take some time, maybe 5 minutes or more than that. It would depend on the machine. Please don't close this window unless you are done. And once you are done with the system scanning, you need to copy and paste the second which is to restore the health of your computer. Copy and paste it to the command prompt and wait until the procedure would be finished again. Okay, and once you have completed all of these commands, you need to restart your computer in order for the changes to make an effect. And once you have restarted it, try to run the Windows update again and see if it's working. Okay? Now, if you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. You may also click or turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified for more upcoming tutorials. Thank you and have a good day.